Hey there, Valve and Portal fans, this is Wesitron. Today we're taking a look at NECA's brand new released Portal 2 Chell action figure. Um, this, as I said, just came out, so I'm very excited to have this figure. I got it from Corner Store Comics for, uh, I think it was $22. So uh, it seems like this one is going for a little bit more than some of the other figures. Uh, it seems like the Valve figures in general are going for a bit more, so I don't know if they just owe more money to that license, or if it's because of all the work they put into them. Because um, each one is sort of the definitive version of that character. In this case, as we just recently found out, as you can see up here, the uh, portal gun actually features a working LED, which is awesome. Uh, very, very excited about that. Uh, neat packaging. It's a you know standard clamshell. We've got a shot of the character down here. This is the um, the model, not the actual action figure. Up here is this Portal Two, and has the little guy there uh, on the bottom. You can see some of the uh, credits there. The sculpt is Adrian Smith, Fabrication, Brad Hoskins, Paint, John Wardell, and Jeffrey Trapp, who we've seen recently. Um, prototypes, Adam Smith. Of course, Randy Falk is the big dog there. Photography, Stephen Mazurik. Nice. Chris Longo for packaging. So um, over here we've got info about the uh, battery door, how you work with it, and everything like that. Um, on this side there's nothing. It's just, you know blue. <laughs> on the back we've got, this is kind of cool because if you look on this side there's the orange and you can see through it and on the back in the same spot is the blue. Uh, that was a really neat idea for the package. Um, and then you've got some of the steps and cubes and everything and then there's this uh, aperture laboratories thing up here at the top down at the bottom says portal 2 and this is really neat. Uh, I'd like everyone to pause and read that if you can because it is kind of funny. So yeah, very cool packaging, you know, standard clamshell NECA type thing, but uh, yeah, this figure is pretty awesome. I'm excited to have her. Let's get her out of the package to see what she's like. Here's Chell out of packaging in sort of a quasi-running pose. Uh, I do have her pose on a Tamashii stage, um, just to kind of get her up off of the uh, ground a little bit. Now, she actually is packaged with a uh, stage of her own, but it's uh, just a stand. You see they've uh, used the like the cross pattern from the game, um, which is cool, but I think I really would have liked this if it had been cast or painted in that sort of um, off-white or gray color or just like stark white, I think would have been cool. Um, I think that would have kind of brought the feel of the game a little closer, but maybe that's just me. Um, you know, what, what do you think? Do you think uh, this works well in the black? I mean, it certainly looks the part of a, a stage, you know, of, of a stand, but... Personally, I would have liked it a different color, but there are the two pegs, but they're mostly for her, like if you were going to stand her straight up, you can get her into some other poses with that, um, but we'll get into more in the uh, possibility section. So, As far as her look, let's get the uh, device out of the way, we've got very, very nice face sculpt, um, like kind of sort of calm, um, just interesting like I don't know I, I just dig it it looks really good it's it's feminine um, like her whole like outlook is her outlook her <laughs> um, her whole design is her uh, physicality everything about her is just very feminine but not uh, weak looking like she looks you know like she's you know muscular she's got some uh, some fight to her which I think is very cool um, but also doesn't look like a, like a superhero, which is, I think, what I'm getting at. So very cool, very nice uh, sculpt on the hair. Uh, they did a great job. The uh, ponytail looks like it can be moved, but uh, so far I have not been able to get it to move, so I guess it can't be. I'm um, kind of a, a stray bit right here. I'm actually curious because if you look here on the side of mine, there's like this spot where it's kind of open and the, the paint is really strange, like if the hair were to lay like that. I'm wondering if this is actually supposed to like lay up into this channel like that and be glued there which that kind of looks like it might fix that area but I don't know for sure I'll have to look at some more pictures and kind of make a decision and you can see there's a tiny bit of not necessarily slop but they didn't paint the hair all the way on the front of the uh, toy and that is one of the risks you take ordering online you know I'm, I'm cool with it uh, I, I dig the way they did the uh, the shirts there and everything they did a nice job with that they used a, um, a tamper graph for the uh, uh, Aperture Laboratories logo there, very cool. Um, nice uh, BSG shirts going on here on the back and everything, very cool. Uh, slender arms, but like I said, they don't look weak or anything, very cool on that. 
Um, nice job on the hands. Uh, just very small, but very cool. Good job on the uh, the palms, having the creases and everything. Um, this hand has got. Let's get that out of the way. It's got a, a the wristband on it, looking very nice. You know, a nice sculpt on it. Looks like it's really been like you know wrapped around there. Um, the undershirt and everything looks great. The uh, the overshirt here. Where the um, the suit has been like in the first game, I think the whole game she wore like a suit that went all the way up to here, like a collar, almost like a prison jumpsuit. And then here it's been like unzipped and pulled down, and tied around her waist. So that's really cool. I like that. Um, it, it, you know, it, they actually painted the details on there to make it look like it's something that's folded down, which is cool. Nice, nice wrinkles on the pant legs. Very, very cool. Did a lot. Her, um, I don't know what these are actually called, um, but they they're kind of like. At least I assumed that they were sort of like um, moon boots or shock absorbers or something like that. Where like when she falls long distances, it would kind of bounce her, you know, just a little bit. Just kind of catch that extra weight uh, and let her sort of like glide the floor a little bit. Just so she doesn't hurt herself when she falls from long distances. Or they could be to kind of launch her in those uh, big jumps across chasms she sometimes has to do. So, I don't know. Interesting though. Um, they do look really good. Uh, you can see they're... they're uh, they're sort of a flat off-white, um, got a little bit of gloss to them, I guess, but not a ton. You know, they look very, very nice. Um, and uh, these are actually separate pieces of plastic glued on. They've got a little flex to them, so they shouldn't uh, break if she takes a shelf dive, which is very good. Hopefully it doesn't break anyway. She does have peg holes on the bottom of her feet, which she'll need because she has no ankle articulation because this is a solid piece by game design. Um, that just, that's got to be how it works. The pegs that are on here are a little bit longer than a normal peg in order so that whenever you do put it on here, you'll notice whenever you get it up into her foot, her foot doesn't have to touch the ground for her absorber to. So she can kind of get into a pose like this, and it and it, it holds up nicely. Let me pull back just a little. So you see, that, that works really well for her. Um, you know, for simple posing, obviously you're not going to be able to get a lot because of that in terms of um, articulation in terms of um, movement but still very nice speaking of articulation let's uh, do the ball jointed head here very very nice um, very nice range down up is you know, not bad she gets a little bit of up uh, it is real loose on mine not like where it's gonna lose a pose but uh, you know just not not super tight uh, great tilt and turn of course swivel hinge in the shoulders they go out very very far um, and of course, because this is painted plastic, be careful if you take it too far, you don't want to scratch anything up. And it goes around, of course. Swivel hinge in the elbows, they do get 90 degrees. Very nice. Swivel goes in and out. Uh, ball jointed wrists on both sides. Not a whole lot of range in the ball joint, but enough to do the job. Uh, she's got a ball jointed midsection. So right here, see she's got a little range of motion. It's not like huge range, but she does get some. Uh, forward about that far, back about that far, a little bit side to side, and then of course uh, a little rotation in there, not much. She's got a cut waist, so she can turn there. Uh, because it is a, kind of a thin part of her body, if you do turn it too much, it, it will start to look strange. You can see that. Um, but if you kind of work with that and the uh, the chest joint, or the mid-torso joint, then uh, it doesn't look quite so strange. Got uh, swivel hinge, swivel hips. Um, and they are at a, a upward angle, um, uh, not the uh, 90 degree angle, closer to 45, but it's almost vertical. Uh, and that's something they tend to do on female figures, just because it's hard to work a peg in sideways on them. But you will have to like push the leg up and then kind of spin it around and then push it back down and then work with the thigh swivel to get it where you want it. So as I said, thigh swivel here, you know, very nice. Um, we've got a hinge in the knee, which gets close to 90 degrees, not perfect, but close. Um, and then a swivel there as well. And that's it, nothing in the ankles, as I said, um, because that is by design for the game. So a very, very nice action figure, very cool. Uh, the whole look of her is just really, really nice. Uh, she's really different, she's really unique. Um, uh, she's just, like, plain but interesting, which I think is cool. It's just really hard to put, my <laughs> put the right uh, spin on it. I do like her a lot, but she is like really plain looking. So let's get her aside here. Looking very cool just sitting like that. She's just neat looking. Almost like a Sigourney Weaver type thing. Like you can just tell she's BA, like in Alien and Aliens. Um, 
even though she's, you know, just kind of looks like a regular person. But on to the star of the show, which everybody wants to see. It's the portal gun. Very, very cool. Aperture. Hopefully that'll focus. Let me see if I can... There we go. Aperture Laboratories Temple right there. The blue light is on, so you know what that means. Uh, the whole claw apparatus on the front looks great. If you look in there, you can see uh, that sort of um, pinwheel design that's inside. Very awesome. And there was one other spot where there was a temple. I was thinking, yeah, right there. Very cool. And of course, everyone's question is, does the light-up feature look as good as it did in the picture? Well, let's try. Button is right here on the bottom. There is a... Uh, like a don't use me tab that comes in here so it protects your batteries before you buy it so if you have to wait a year before you're able to get this figure your battery should still conceivably be okay but just depress this button and it locks in place just like the uh, Dead Space Isaacs and you can see how bright this is these are harsh lights these lights I've got three lights on right now um, and if I was to turn them off one by one you can really see how bright this thing is like outstanding very very cool and what's neat about it isn't just that it's bright it's that they kind of have this um, sort of not perfectly clear section right here it's like it's not like glass clear it's got a little frost so it almost looks like a pulse um, like uh, like it's it's glowing from within and not just some light that's on which is very cool now it's got a grip here on the back you can see that it's just a very simple handle and that just clips right into her hand, no problems with that. Um, it's even a little bit loose uh, in there, like a little wiggle room, which is cool because uh, it allows you to put it in the other hand very easily. Like you don't have to fight both hands to get it to hold, which is very awesome. So, and there you have your Chell. Very, very cool action figure. Very excited to have this. It's really unique. Um, and uh, as far as battery life on these things, um, I've had my Dead Spake space isaacs for years now um the uh, dead space one isaac was one of the first NECA figures i ever bought and uh it, he's it, their batteries all still work perfectly so i don't anticipate this running out very easily but they do give you instructions on how to swap it very easily i mean it's just a screw on the bottom but awesome awesome action figure so excited to have it she looks fantastic she's a strong heroine um you know <laughs> not a heroine of many words but just a very cool design, very simple and unique. Um, dig it a whole lot. Very excited to have this. So, um, like I said, I paid $22 for it. It's a NECA toy. I'm totally, totally biased, but yes, 100% worth it. Um, if it was $25, I'd probably still say buy it because I am a fanboy. If you got up to $30, that, that might be a bit much. But $22 was not bad at all from Corner Store Comics. They are in stock now. Definitely grab one if you get the chance. Um, I'd like to say that they were going to be cheaper, like at Toys R Us or FYE, but I honestly do not know what the MSRP will be because it does have the light-up feature, and I'm sure that costs some money. Um, I just, I'm so stoked that they were able to fit the whole light-up um, apparatus in this tiny gun. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I know it's it's big for you know that sort of thing. It's just, it's just such a fun idea. I'm glad that they decided to do that instead of painting it. <coughs> Play Arts Kai, <coughs> excuse me. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, I would love to know them. Um, anything that I can possibly answer, uh, anything you would like to know at all, uh, just throw it in the box below. I'll be glad to uh, answer your questions. Um, new subscribers, really appreciate you coming on. Old subscribers, you're my OGs and I love you. Like, I spill one for you every time. I, that's from the heart, yo. So, uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. You have a great day. See ya.